Hi. LHV Berger Gulf Fund's performance in January was uh, plus 1.5% and in February minus 1.0%, bringing our full year um, result to plus 0.5%. Um, as you can see on the fund valuation chart, then, um, as of end of February, our fund is trading at 8.0 times 12 month forward looking earnings, 1.0 times book value, and our investments are offering 5.0% uh, trailing dividend yield. The two biggest um, news items in, in January and February were uh, the increase in oil price uh, on one hand and uh, the Q4 financial results on the other hand. Um, as you can see on the oil price chart, then um, the year started for Brent oil price at $54 per barrel and two months later it was trading at $66 per barrel, so it's a plus 22% increase. And now the oil price is comfortably above the $60 uh, threshold that's uh, comfortable for the GCC countries over the long term. Um, secondly, um, the Q4 financial results, we have composed um, a kind of a table uh, or a chart so that you can see all of our uh, top 10 biggest investments with the valuation numbers and also the uh, percentage changes for um, the revenue and, and net income numbers. Um, the biggest positive surprise in Q4 um, came from the UAE uh, real estate sector, where on the back of very low expectations, EMR properties and Alder properties uh, actually reputed, uh, reported quite decent numbers, and the outlook for this year uh, was, uh, was strong. So that made the real estate sector uh, stocks rally, and actually Morgan Stanley upgraded the whole UAE equity sector a couple of days later from underweight to overweight on the back of this. Probably the weakest numbers came from um, Bahrain, our holding um, aluminium Bahrain, where the company uh, is increasing their production this year by almost 50%. But to do that, they needed to increase the uh, feedstock to produce uh, aluminium and uh, um, the increasing of the feedstock actually happened at a very bad time when the uh, uh, input prices uh, for the feedstock were, were very high uh, over the short term and that uh, caused the Q4 financial results to, to be a big disappointment. But hopefully this will only affect the Q4 uh, and, and likely Q1, but after that uh, uh, this effect will, will disappear. Um, looking ahead, then in March um, we're participating in a big Middle Eastern conference hosted by EFG in Dubai, where over the course of four days we will have an opportunity to um, meet more than 20 companies um, face to face. Um, and um, we will have a, um, we'll essentially cover 80% of our fund holdings in, in, in the portfolio. So uh, in our next monthly letter, we will uh, write more about uh, how those meetings went and, and, and what those uh, company managements are are talking about uh, this year uh, looking ahead. Thank you.